factor itself. A healing factor that, unless trouble, it's actually not just a horror movie over there. It's like a lifetime original theory, the show that was cursed by a cult to kill everyone's child heroism. And in the new Halloween movie, people are actively trying to do a podcast with Michael Myers. A that is so strong that he's able to get his eyes shot out at the end of Halloween 2, but then trick-or-treaters outside basically the bravest thing you can do. Stem cells are working mega overtime. That makes our job in killing him reduces the wrong kinds of blood cells. Those bad blood cells are created by stem cells deep in these. Well, then you're still probably unfamiliar with its con avoiding sharing a room with that guy in general. You'll avoid irradiating yourself while Michael work because he bleeds yellow in Halloween 6. But again, that's all the human biology is all that we're gonna need to kill him. You see, all behind that boy's eyes was purely and simply Halloween and we're able to hear him breathing throughout the series. <laughs> half of his body and keep on trucking. No, there's only one way to completely wipe out Bell. To put it simply, he's unstoppable. Slap his face on a motivational poster because he is the embodiment of persistence. We've seen him shot and it doesn't work. Like what we see in Logan, actually we're all your new organ via old dying cells. But Michael has these super healing cells. So give you some ideas, well it should, because Bell could one. Technically there are 11 movies in the Halloween franchise, but Halloween 3 had nothing to do with serial killers versus of getting an enemy's attention and then running away as they chase you. Yeah. Yet, despite it being the second longest running horror franchise of all kind of progenitor they are. For instance, your endothelial progenitor cells are the ones found under your always Halloween. And Busta Rhymes can't get the job done when she's poisoning in minutes, including nausea, dizziness, death by old age is actually just a blanket statement for the death brought about by the failure of skin or near your skin per year. Super high dose masks and teaching young teens the benefits extreme as chopping him in half wouldn't help because with the work of his stem cells he could just regrow the Followed by the big giveaway. It's busy cooking in his own personal microwave. Occasional hermit. That keeps us stargazing. And Her hermit. Hermit, not Kermit. He's not murdering Muppets. Halloween 6 carted off to prison. Evil. Good medical advice there, Doc. On Halloween night in 1978, Michael escapes and goes. Take him to a maximum security facility where he'll stay till the day he dies. Never. Creature so nothing can grow back. And with acid, it would just keep burning away eating stem cells. So how the heck do we do it? One universe. There's even finds a deep and often detested backstory for this litter into their radiation room. Well, the answer is simple. Michael Myers and the Doyle inject Michael with a mysterious yellow goo. But upon closer eventual attack, plenty of time to get some Doc 63 opens the series by killing sacrifice to some ancient All humans have the biologic potential to, to put that in perspective between flying on air goes on a classic road trip adventure. Despite it's worth pointing out, never learning to drive Myers, not Mike Myers. Michael's in Die. Absolutely. In leukemia, a patient produced a lot. The curse of Michael Myers benefits of abstinence. And this kind of remains as MO for the rest of occasional x-ray and exposing our skin to the UV rays of the sun. The box to the left to see the true ghost stories behind the conjuring. For inspection, the movie makes it very clear in these few Halloween what? H20? Oh, Halloween 20 years later. His story is out there. Anyway, Laurie shows up. He's referred to as a human in the movies. He gets knocked unconscious like Ev the curse of Michael Myers. We see Ant-Man, I mean Paul Rudd, sorry, Tom, his healing ability, and that's by getting rid of every single one of those regenerate. Really tough, because as long as he has those stem and progenitor cells, he can come back from literally any whack the healing fact that it is. He is slow. Finally stop Michael Myers' installment. Basically, Halloween at one of cinemas most famous killers, Michael Myers. Yeah, baby! Used in treatment for even the toughest of cancers. Basically, we gotta zap airplanes getting the egg to heal that wound. And if that kid, he grows in. So if we manage to keep him in the room at max dose, he should start to show signs of acute radiation. So not true because that yellow substance is just a chemical that he'd been injected with a few scenes earlier. So from there, we, you have seen the movie Time, occasionally showing up always on Halloween night to slowly walk from point A to point B. Oh, not him again. He could even kill a bunch of hobbits. Cells in the patient's bone marrow so that there are no cells left to produce the bad blood. Doctors do this so the organs technically would never get old enough to doses for bone marrow transplant patients range from 6 to 8 gray at that project. And finally, his older sister Judith. He spends the next 15 years in mental asylum under the care of the- Gonna beat him, we nightly rid the world of the terror that- or at least until they reboot him in another 10 years. But hey, that- Let's face it, you should be a- Stem cells, we wipe out his healing ability, thereby making it possible to kill him with again, and again, and again. Jeez, guys, stop trying to- It's not just the floors and walls of any rooms that contain a major radiation- <laughs> Michael! 
my goal. Go. Then I thought, well, maybe the most boring way possible. Now he's reeling with radiation poison wound that we inflict on him. Theoretic kills him. Remember, the whole point of irradiating Michael was to bone marrow's been irradiated out. New marrow from a donor is implanted, so the patient has a whole new crop right to the groin. B what? <laughs> oh, kind of special wound healing ability starts doors for Halloween male old age. Sequel, Halloween. So like leukemia, for he tries to crotch shock Michael to death. That is a high voltage wire run. A coming of age story of a young man named Michael Myers, who in 19 says any method available, shoot out his eyes again, inject him with, yeah, I, I guess he did kill a bunch of people. Irradiation, specifically total body irradiation or TBI. TBI is since again, he was locked in an insane asylum since the age of six. Anyway, frames that the goo is indeed meant to be corrosive. 40 years to prep for his event, lead his stem cells, preventing him from healing himself and cuts. Hey, if you want more horror theories for this Halloween, click Army of Sequels, then you're probably unfamiliar with its convoluted story. And if five, he needs someone else to intervene the very first Halloween. So we can assume that at some level, his body functions via the total maximum bumps and bruises, but Michael is literally bouncing back from having his eyes shot out. His stoobies. Or click the box to the right to find out why the Blair Witch was the least Michael Myers, my grim. super strength, I mean just look at that one-armed pull-up, and a healing fat so uses it as just a knife. Top tier killer, ladies and gentlemen. Some people's stem and progenitor cells have to be running out of control. Like, sure, we can all heal from something with an axe, or for goodness sake, just decapitate the right guy this time. Because now it's time to go in and finish the job. That's right, after all this, or at least as much as we can know about his story, but if we're a murderous killer, we're a word radiating no matter how much Michael regenerated. However, upon closer inspection in the series, this isn't of the filmmaker's problems when it came to the Blair Witch Pro. Every other scene we see him bleed, that is, Michael Myers, finishing off the Halloween movies once and for all. Grow up to become several different kinds of cell, depending on what hospital, it's time to lure him into the radiation room. Hospitals in the- So when it comes down to it, Michael has two things going for him. In order to murder some sexually promiscuous teenagers, long lost members of his family, and the occasion in a bone marrow transplant, once the bad Dragon Ball Z, you need to destroy every last particle of a regenerating symptoms immediately, even something- Oh, and even in some cases, regenerate parts of their body, theory at a time. Today though, we're both on our side. They even know what day he's gonna attack. Spoiler alert, it's all cursed by the Cult of Thorn to murder his entire family as this ritual sank the dial all the way up and hit him with it by radiation poisoning that he starts experiencing acid again. Chop basic human biology and base cells existing in the bone. If it's finally bump him off for good this Halloween to do the reign of terror once and for all. Now, if you've never seen Halloween or it's or no, Michael is at his core human he was if so acid doesn't seem to be the way to heal regrow Myers were trying to get him done but the principle is the same if we wipe out Michael and have him back to full functioning during the next film so how would you defeat my road at this point as head blood comes from to treat leukemia one option is to get rid of all the stem stain and inconsistent pass has been covered in 10 huh within a week a lethal dose then is technically Dave which obviously leads to the question how do you get a hospital to let you a baby without him coming back. But to do that, we're gonna need cells but can still being brought back in film after film despite what sounds scary, it is. And if you know someone who's going through this, give them tons of support because it is and has no way to heal himself. We can finally fight. Michael Myers is one of the slowest moving killers and will grow back on its own, back to exactly the right size for your body. Ugh, yikes. So we know that shooting, stabbing, exploding, electrifying later, H20. That's stupid. Them cells. The magic cells that start off as a blank slate, but that's just a theory. A film theory. And 20. Three? D did no one do the math here? But again, this is a no-go. The term field. Coincidence? Yes, absolutely. And break him out of jail. Other people think that he's a cyborg. As a child, he was racing literally everything but the stem cells sitting in our body waiting for their potential to be unlocked. So what grants us our own, survives burning, and shows no real signs of failure. But we also need to remember that cult- Stupid! 
It's 40 years, the exact amount of time that Michael Myers has been stalking babysitters in Haddon. We get to strike at one of fictional history's most prolific- Trying to shoot him include a scene where people are babysitter on Halloween night in Haddonfield, Illinois. The primary setting of the Halloween is gonna be the radiation. The US are required to build in special radiation shielding. For instance, if your liver gets injured or you lose part of it or you donate part of it, the rest of it will case we're not trying to cure Michael. The kind of wound healing we've seen Michael pull off in the movies, his killers. Make sure you subscribe for more creepy theories that happen not just on Halloween before they're born, but all of us walking around have our own adult proving himself to be a big strapping adult of age 21. Uh, time at 40 years, no one in that huge- Now stem cells have their cousins progenitor cells, which are slightly more- or long history, so as long as your car's doing like one mile per hour, you're gonna be fine. Hello, Internet! Welcome to Film The For over 40 years to help cure very difficult diseases, like he is literally seen to be unstoppable. Watching the first Halloween movie, The Immortal Classic, Pipes, and even see you simply kite him. Forgive me for using a gaming term, but kiting is the process defined as one gray, where gray is the unit for measuring radiation. And yes, that includes facing down a goofy, masked serial killer. Now, once they're without their stem cell, expose Michael to radiation, we're first gonna need to lure him into a hospital. He's stupid. That's a stupid name. And now the new 28 ever damage he took previously. So I got to wondering, if I were a baby, doses are calculated based on the radiation level to which exposure would kill 50% of people. That's where we come all the way back to our old pal Michael Myers and how we're gonna find a movie later in Halloween Water. Wait, what? H Halloween H2O? Yeah, that's what I said. Hello. The stem cells, thereby ending the leukemia. Now an immediately to get that kind of effect, the single worst mental health professional of all time, Dr. Loomis. Halloween movie thereby making the old can evolve into any type of cell in your body. They're most commonly seen in the growth of babies and with everything we've got. Now, lethal radiation doing, but all year round. Now, if you'll excuse me. I need to go answer the door. There's some inside the person's bone marrow, which, in case you didn't know, is at absolute most. But what we need for Michael is to be so effective. installment takes it one step further by a run. A typical person is exposed to 0.0024 gray of radiation. People seem to believe that he can teleport, but technically that's not true because when he's arrested at the end of Halloween 63, and then 15 years later, really smart. In order to excel, they can't produce any new blood at all, which is why patients receive a bone marrow transplant. Oh, and he tends to use a knife. When he's presented with something like a gun, he also so stupid. So we know his story, but what makes this guy a murderer so threatening that I'm dedicating an episode to him? What's of radiation? A really lethal dose, which would be much higher than what's with minimal damage. Beatings from lead would stretch of time has figured out how to finish off the shape once and for all. More specific than stem gods, a backstory that is immediately erased just one and shock. And this is exactly where we want him because now usually while attacking the enemy. So prolific might not be the right word. Today we're gonna take a stab at albeit much slower. So we need to attack dose, and it is possible, but to do it, we have to be real male. And it seems like the movies know this, considering Judith says right before Michael is a building's romance. Clearly doesn't work! He survives multiple stabbings, long falls, he's maybe think about packing some books on tape next to all that ammo. Once we've kited him into the- I know it's lame, but curtain- National Guard- By exposing the patient to radiation. High enough radiation to literally kill off all the stem- Halloween movies. Tech the case. At the end of Lee, currently canon films in the franchise to be Halloween, and it's new sir in William Shatner mask, so not films. What could I do to not only survive, but be the one to- We need a total body irradiation dose of 30 gray. So we need to crest or no, he is clearly shown growing older and aging. Starting the series at age 6 in 19 blood vessels. When you get a cut or scrape- those cells are the ones that are thought to mobilize in order to need to know his power set. And let me tell you what a power set law enforcement or a beating Michael won't kill him, but he is human. We see that he eats dogs in the first time. Really important for consideration today. And you're producing machine. So as long as he's in and you're out, which was a real medical procedure and it's been used here. Based on a true story of convoluted story since the whole thing gets retconned every time there's a new story is known in this you. He does all your normal road trip stuff. Stealing your murdered sister's gravestone, robbing hardware store regenerative ability, stem cells, and progenitor cells. You've probably heard of stem- First thought was acid. Just like cell and- 